Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our home in the Bavarian mountains of Germany. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are the McFalls, a family of six with four kids and a cat who moved from the USA to Germany in February of 2021, seeking travel, adventure, and the privilege of learning a new language and a new culture. The past few weeks, we've been bringing you along with us as we experience our first Christmas season here in Germany. We started off buying Advents calendars and trying Christmas treats that were totally new to us, like Speculatios, Stollen, Liebkuchen, and more. Then we had our own Christmas market experience at home, since the Christmas markets in our state are canceled, with Gebrante Mandeln, Heiße Maronen, Glühwein, and Kinderpunsch. Then in the next video, we shared with you how the Christmas tree has its origins right here in Germany. Today, I'm going to show you some of the beautiful Christmas decorations we've bought here in Germany and share the origins and history with you. Germany really is the capital of Christmas, and I want to show you what that looks like. I'll also do an unboxing with you of Käthe Wohlfahrt's ornaments. It is a famous Christmas ornament company here in Germany. So many of our Christmas traditions in America really do come from Germany. Some of what you'll see here too are our decorations that we brought with us from America like our Weihnachts Krippe, which we call a nativity scene, our nutcrackers, and a few other decorations. Much of what I'm going to show you today comes from Erzgebirge, which in English is known as the Ore Mountains, and they are located in the eastern German state of Saxony, on the border with the Czech Republic. They popularized many of the Christmas decorations that are common in Germany today, and even some that are popular around the world. Decorations such as nutcrackers, candle arches, Christmas pyramids, handmade glass ornaments, and smoking figurines. So let's start with the German candle arches. In German, this is known as Schwiebogge. This is something I'd never seen before moving to Germany, and I just love it. It has become one of my favorite Christmas decorations. The origin of the candle arch is related to the mining traditions of the Ore Mountain region that I mentioned before. The arch symbolizes the mine tunnel entrance and the candles represent the torches used to illuminate the mine interior. The oldest known German Christmas Schwiebogge can be traced back to 1740 to a man named Johannes Teller in the town of Johann Georgenstadt. I hope I'm saying that right. In Saxony's Ur Mountains. In 1935 in Siphon, a town known for its woodcraft traditions, Woodworkers had the inspiration to form candle arches out of plywood using a jigsaw and other tools. The original designs depicted scenes of life from the Ore Mountain region and mining. 
Around the 1990s, the designs began to break away from tradition and feature nativity scenes, Nikolaus, churches, and scenes from German life in the winter. Now I'm excited to show you our Weihnachtspyramide, or in English, a German Christmas pyramid. The German Christmas pyramid was first developed as a low-cost substitute for a real Christmas tree in the late 1700s. And I talk more about that in detail in our previous video, O Tannenbaum, The German Origins of the Christmas Tree. So make sure to check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description box below. A traditional pyramid is made of wood and typically has from one to five levels. A candle-powered windmill-like rotor fan at the top of the pyramid makes the carousel-like platforms with carved figures revolve around, and on some models, even bells chime. The older German word Drehturm, a revolving tower, is actually more descriptive. Depending on how elaborate or plain they are, Christmas pyramids today range in price from 15 to 300 euros or more. So the Weinachs Pyramide is very special to me because I have childhood memories of this in my grandparents' home. In the early 1990s, my paternal grandparents came to see my aunt and uncle who were serving in the army here in Germany. And they bought quite a few little trinkets and souvenirs, one of which was a Weinax Pyramide and a Reuschermann. My grandmother would bring these decorations out each year at Christmas time, and they were my favorite things in her house. They became very special to me, and I'm so excited to have them for myself today. I made sure to buy ones that are made here in Germany. So that brings us to a Reuschermann. A Reuschermann in English is a smoking figurine or a smoking man. So burning incense has long been a tradition around the world to make the home smell better and to drive away evil spirits. In the Ore Mountain region, long before the development of incense cones and these incense figures, fir twigs were burned on the stovetop or over a candle flame on long cold winter nights. It was not until about 1850 that the figure of a man with a pipe in his mouth became popular with the rise of public smoking. Many of them depict a man smoking a pipe. The rise of pipe smoking at that time inspired the toy makers to create this out of wood. This is another thing that was so special to me to have at my grandmother's house. I remember begging her when we'd go to her house to please light the incense so we could see the little man smoke. We just thought it was the coolest thing. It was like magic or something. And I'm really excited to have a few in our house today. They are very special to me. So the last Christmas decoration I have that originates in Germany are nutcrackers. Now we only have cheap mass produced ones that we bought in the US, but now that I know that I can get handcrafted beautiful ones from Erzgebirge, I plan to start getting one each year, each Christmas, as they are quite pricey, until I have one for each of us in the family. So for now, you see my cheap mass produced ones. So the first nutcracker is thought to have been created in Siphon in the 17th century and people there would give them as gifts around Christmas time. They later grew in popularity around the 19th century and spread to nearby European countries. Friedrich Wilhelm Fuschner, commonly known in Germany as the father of the Nutcracker, began the first mass production of the design at his workshop in Siphon in 1872. Nutcrackers then became popular outside of Europe after the Second World War, when numerous American soldiers stationed in Germany came home to the United States with nutcrackers as souvenirs. Further popularization came from Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker Ballet, which was introduced to America during the 1950s and quickly became a favorite holiday tradition across the United States. The ballet helped make nutcracker dolls a Christmas decoration and a seasonal icon across Western culture, and I can definitely attest to this. I grew up with my parents buying us nutcrackers at Christmas time. We each got one that we would proudly bring out at Christmas time and set on the fireplace mantle. And then I did the same for our kids. 
Also, I am a former ballet dancer and teacher, and so the Nutcracker Ballet is very near and dear to my heart, and I watch it each year at Christmas time, and I really do love Nutcrackers because of this ballet. So in contrast to the Reuschen Manor, you know, the smoking figurines we talked about earlier, those feature common people. Nutcrackers usually feature royalty and military figures. So the Erzgebirge region isn't the only region that is full of Christmas charm. Other cities are also popular to view Christmas markets and buy beautiful handcrafted traditional ornaments and decorations. I'm also going to show you some Christmas ornaments that I've bought from Kate Wulfart. Ooh, you can... <laughs> Um, it's a very famous Christmas ornament company here in Germany. You can get it in Rothenburg ob der Tauber. It is a beautiful medieval, very Christmassy village in northern Bayern, in northern Bavaria. Eventually we're going to get over there. Uh, I wanted to get up there this year, but with coronavirus issues, I just decided let's wait until I know for sure if I book a hotel, we'll actually be able to go and we'll actually get to see a Christmas market. So maybe next year we'll try that. And what I've seen from that many of you have told us uh, and told me on Instagram that it's very famous Christmas ornament manky company. So I got quite a few ornaments, both to give as gifts in the US to family members and just for us so we can have some German Christmas magic in our home. Okay, so in continuing with our theme of bringing the Christmas markets to us, since we cannot go to them because of the virus, we have something to show you. Ella, do you know what just came in the mail we're excited about? Uh, Christmas ornaments. Christmas ornaments. Okay, so we're gonna open the box and it looks a little crazy, okay? But this is our first Christmas in Germany. So yeah, maybe I went a little crazy, but uh, I'm not unhappy about you it. Want that you wanna see? Me? Look how big. You, did, you don't need uh, it. Well, now, these are not all for us. I got some of these for our families back in the US. Cause I wanted to take them home, a special handmade German ornament. That's, you know, there's something you can really only get in Germany. All right, so I'm gonna give the kids, they're gonna help me open the, the boxes. We have lots of little boxes in here. Take out the paper. This is good paper for the for the fireplace. You got our fire going. Oh, you can't see it. It's not. Okay. Oh my word. What have we here? All right. Can I? Let's is, open is this that an one. Ornament? I think so. What did you? So I guess they're all individually wrapped. Is that the case? Oh, good. They're all individually wrapped. Okay. This it's... ornament, Grayson doesn't know. The kids don't know that I ordered an ornament for each of them. I, Grayson, Grayson, this is snowman. your ornament. Let's move our advent wreath out of the way. I saw, I saw Grayson. Yeah, Doug, don't say it. Okay, okay Grayson's gonna open his ornament. Oh, this is snowman his. snowman sledding down a hill. On skis. I'm skiing. No, skiing down a hill. Yeah, that's what I meant. So each year I like to get the kids an ornament to hang on the tree so that when they leave our house, they have a set of ornaments to start their tree with. Uh, my mom did that for me and my siblings growing up, and it's really special, and I loved that. So I'm continuing on the tradition, Mom. I like it, Grayson. Isn't that cute, Grayson? Yeah, it's a snowman. Well, be careful with it. It is delicate. All right, Ella, let's see what's in this one. You want to open up this one? Yeah. I wonder who that is. I'll let you know. If it's one of your brothers, we'll, we'll give it to them. Ooh. Ooh, there's snow in it. Fake this. snow. Oh, this is for your cousin. It's a little angel. Okay, but we have to put it Look in here. It wow, it's so neat. It's got, it says Rothenburg ODT, Ob der Tauber, Germany on there. Kete, I'm sorry, I'm saying Kete. It's Kete, Wolf, Kete's, yeah. Kete's, yeah, it's Kete. Sorry about that pronunciation. When I see the umilat, I remember to pronounce it correctly. Kate's vul. Kate vulfat. Guys, learning another language is not easy. All right, we're excited to do it. So, okay, that's wonderful. All right, so let's put that one off to the side. Isn't it great they already come in little boxes? Now I can just give the gift. No, it's Grayson. All right, Grayson, you open that one. 
and see. Morphe. No. That's Griffin's special ornament, though. It is a squirrel. Aww. Oh, it's a squirrel sitting on a leaf. Uh huh. I thought Griffin would really like that. Griffin loves animals and he loves the woods. Mommy, I have to feel and the I'll tail. give you a close up. Isn't that adorable? So I got the kids, I got all wooden ornaments. I would love to have gotten the glass ones. They are gorgeous, but the children, glass is not very uh, reliable. So, all right, let's put it back in there and we'll let Griffin set that one aside so Griffin can open it himself. He is currently doing homework. It is just a no, regular. It's like it again. You have you have one for you too. That might but, be yours. And okay, let me help you open it so the box doesn't rip. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. That's oh, that's for Daddy. Yes. Isn't he adorable? Prost. Oh my god. Yeah, it says Prost, and it's a little Bavarian man. We'll let Daddy open it. Mm -hmm. He's got a a. A bretzel. Um, or wait, bretzel. Do we say bretzel? Bretzel. Bretzel. You say bretzel? Okay, so we'll set that one aside for Daddy. Grayson? By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way by Kate Wulfart. She has no idea I exist. Wulfart. Maybe she will know I exist after this video. I don't know. A cuckoo clock. Maybe we can get a tour of her shop. Somebody put in a good word for us. It's a cuckoo clock. In Kevin's family, there's a lot of German heritage, and I can't remember if it's his grandmother that's 100% German or his great-grandmother that's 100% German, but um, they did come on a ship from straight from Germany to America, and they have um, his, his mom, so the kid's grandmother, has this amazing cuckoo clock that she's had in her home for all of Kevin's childhood. It was passed down from his grandparents that was passed down from his great-grandparents. So it's a very special cuckoo clock. So I got cuckoo clocks for Kevin's siblings and his mother. Uh, they watch our YouTube videos, so now they know. Skip this part. Mommy, I, I, um, I sucked up one of these. You should have said that before, before that. Before That's right, I should have given a warning. So this, please don't suck on it, Ella. You I suck on it. Did. Don't suck on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are cuckoo clock ornaments because it's a special thing in Kevin's family, and it's just adorable. Okay, it's Ella. Mommy, this looks like a spear. It's your turn. This is so fun, isn't it? Hi. <gasps> Another cuckoo clock. Cuckoo okay. Clock. Uh, cuckoo clock. Okay. Cuckoo clock. <laughs> Another okay. cuckoo clock. <laughs> I hope there's not another cuckoo clock. And these are also very affordable. The wooden ornaments she sells are affordable, so they're great to give as little gifts, I think. Another cuckoo <laughs> clock! My God, it's so many cuckoo clocks. Uh, one of them's for us. All right, Ella. Now this one maybe is different. It's a cuckoo clock. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right, we got them. All right, so I was going to say five. Years later. Five years and later. Then, like, and, and then you put in a fast That's right. Forward, like, Oh, just so pretty. So flat. It is flat. You want to open it and see? That's a lot of now that's your ornament, Ella. Do you like it? Uh, it's an angel. It's an angel. It's an advent she's, angel. See the she's candles? She's sitting on candles. She's an advent. She's sitting on it. She has candles. Okay, it goes like body. that. There you go. Uh huh. She has candles in her body. Oh, you can see. It's it an advent, eyes. an advent angel. That's too. Do you like it? Uh, not really. You don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like it. Why don't you like it? I got one for myself because I liked it so much. I think the angel is beautiful. Maybe. No, I think the rest of these are the angels. They're all the same size, and I got one for me, you, um, my mom. And my Better. sister. So you don't like that one? Mm. I thought you would love having a little angel. I don't really don't like that because I what? thought you could get me something nice. So nice. It is nice. It is nice, Ella. I gotta do my homework, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grayson had to go do his homework. Let's scoot over, Ella. Yeah. Now we have more space. Okay. 
And Ella, I have one more very special thing in there. For me again? No, for the whole family. This is not an angel. Can yes. I see it? Yes, look. It's a little horse. Oh. A little horse, right? I think a I, rocking horse. Oh, I poked you in the eye. I'm so sorry. I think Wesley would like it. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so this is an ornament I got for our oldest son. It is Can a I see it? Nutcracker. Can I see it, Mommy? Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, so see if you like this one, Ella. This is for our family, just in general. So see if you like that one. I think. Isn't that adorable? A little Christmas tree. You don't like that one either? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I love it. What I think it's like beautiful. What so is that? this one we're going to also be giving as a gift. Can I see? Whoa, it's so sparkly. I can't like it. It's so sparkly. You like the glitter, huh? Yeah, I like the glitter. Okay. Kevin's going to open his now. So I, it's an ornament. I have no idea what it is. Oh, but here on the side. Don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It says it was in wood, so they're all wooden. So that's not a big surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is super cool. Yeah, you like they, uh, it. A guy in tract with his little Prost beer maskrug and his pretzel, perfect. Leader hosen and everything, very cute. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> so the last thing we have in here, and this I'm really excited about. Uh, this is for our family, Ella. You wanna sit down yeah. in and you can help me open it, okay? There's a rubber band, it looks like. This yes. is gonna be really special. It's a decoration that we can put out and enjoy every Christmas. Only if we can get Christmas. the box open. Only every Christmas. Yeah. Only for every Christmas. I guess if we want to leave it out all year, we can, but. <gasps> wow. wow. It comes in this like golden box. Whoa. Talk about nice oh, presentation. Oh, we've also flown. Whoa. We've also flown. Oh my goodness. Whoa. So this is like a, a Christmas tree that's like a keepsake. You know, it has little ornaments on it. <gasps> wow. This is Stunning. Oh Whoa. my goodness. We can like put jewelry in that. Yeah, you can put jewelry in it? Yeah. I thought it was maybe a music box, but it looks like maybe it's not. I guess you can put little coins or candies maybe in it. Oh my goodness. That is so fancy. Mm -hmm. Do, they look like little earrings, don't they? Like the, the Christmas tree has jewels on it. Okay guys, so that is our haul from Kate Wulfart. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll get the pronunciation correct one of these days. Kate Wulfart, Kate Wulfart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of our German Christmas decorations. Please let me know in the comments below, what are some other things? Am I missing anything? I plan to add to our collection each year. I just love that Germany is the capital of Christmas and I just really wanted to have special handcrafted things made here in Germany to help us feel really more at home and to understand the history of Christmas as it comes from Germany. So German friends, let me know below if there's anything I'm missing or anything you would recommend that we get next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out our other Christmas videos. We've got a few more coming for you right before Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.